All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be putting a water block on the, one of the new Navi cards. Uh, in my case, this is going to be the EK Vector block for the uh, 5700 plus the XT version. Uh, again, in my case, I'm going to be doing this on the 50th anniversary edition. Uh, this is the nickel and plexi block, so I'm um, not going to waste a whole lot of time at the intro, so let's just jump right in. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start. Let's open this thing up first. So what we got? We got all the screws, two plugs, a little of this ecotherm, uh, and two Allen wrenches. Joy. It's always a good time when they give you two of them, right? Uh, oh, well, I guess those are for the plugs. I got a bunch of those. So you got three, 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 three sheets of uh, uh, thermal pad, uh, two of the thinner it looks like one perforated, yeah, so one thinner one with all the perforations, two long ones, one thin, one thicker. Got your, got your single slot back plate. Alright, nice protective foam. Let's make sure this is it. Nothing else, right? Okay. Open this bad boy up. Ooh, it just got delivered, so this block is actually kind of warm. Not for long, though, right? Ooh, what is what is this nonsense? Explain this cable mess to me, EK. This is this is really dumb. I am not happy with that. What am I? Where am I supposed to put this? Like you're covering half the block that you would see lit. All right. Well, this is the block. UK logo. There's no sticky thing there for me to take off, which is kind of odd. I, mean, I guess they don't do that anymore. I don't know. Let's see, and then they have this slot that looks like it's, it's probably a screw, but let's get to this old card. So, let me get that out of the way because I got to take the shroud off of this. So, this is the 50th anniversary edition, but uh, the same PCB as the, the other ones, so. So, I haven't done this yet as far as taking this thing apart, so I'm not sure which order I'm supposed to do things in. So, we're going to start with the back plate and see what happens. I think I think this back plate can stay on with the water block, I believe. Don't quote me on that. We're going to find out. So, yeah, just those six screws. The one here, this one, this one on the corner, another one on the corner. And then these two right there. So, uh, yeah, there was a hole right here for this one, but that's for the actual um, PCI slot bracket. I just realized there was no instruction booklet that came with this. Shouldn't be a problem. I uh, I did, in fact, look at uh, a PDF for it. I have a PDF on my computer with all this stuff on it, so I'm not that concerned that it's going to be like a hard time or anything. The first thing I'm going to do is actually take all of these screws out of here. Actually, I guess I don't need to do that yet. All right, we'll hold off on that for now. I may need some of all that for leverage. So, 
All right, I'm going to point out the screws I'm taking out. So we got this one here, this one, this one, this one, just one right here next to the uh, retention bracket. Another one here next to the retention bracket. Uh, here, 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 here. And it looks like that's it. And then once all this is done, then I'll do the retention bracket. I do things in an order. All right, so I do need to take these two screws. They are actually connected to the cooler. So I'm gonna start attempting to separate this as best I can. Uh, what's gonna happen is there's gonna be two cables in here. Oh, probably would uh, help if I undid the uh, retention bracket. That's not gonna help me none. Chances are this will come apart really easily. Uh, keep in mind that there are going to be two cables, one for the light in the front and one for the fan. I don't think there should be any other cables, but maybe. We'll see. You know what, I probably got to undo that one too. Something else looks like it feels like it's holding it up. All right, so sorry, somebody walked in. I had to talk to me, so I had to cut away. But uh, I took out this screw right here on the back plate block or uh, bracket. You have to take it apart from this side. And then I took it out from right here. So I should be able to get this thing off now. Oh, yep. Oh, maybe, maybe not. All right, you know what, fine. I'm gonna take all those little screws out too. Oh, so there's a cable there, which is on the backside by the bracket. And you have, looks like your fan one right there at the very front corner. Well, I, should, I guess I should call that back corner. Attempt to take these out. I hate doing this. I hate doing these. They don't give you very much cable slack here. All right, there's one. That one was actually easier than they usually are. damage anything so there's that uh, that kind of worried me until I saw that the rest of it's just right here uh, this is just like a pad a sticky pad this isn't even actual like junk fluid or anything like that or uh, junk Tim I should say so I'm gonna cut away what I'm gonna do is clean this off and then get rid of all these thermal pads and then I need to read this PDF and look at these uh, sticky pads to see what I'm supposed to do plus I'm gonna get my screws and everything ready that way I don't have to fight through it on camera so I'll be right back <coughs> all right so I had a chance to consult with the manual uh, in PDF form because they don't give you one on paper um, my only complaint is that they didn't give you a listing of all the screws so you know which one is what so hopefully you've put a block together and you can kind of figure some stuff out if not you have the screws. If it doesn't screw in all the way, it's too long. If it isn't grabbing anything, it's too short. So you get these little babies here. Uh, there's 20 of these in the box. So take two out of the grouping and you got your 18. Same thing with your washers. Um, this is all you need according to the manual. So we're going to try to go through this and figure this out. So these ones go on your big blocks. And these ones, I've not been able to figure out just yet. So you have to cut this down for the little chokes around. If I'm using the wrong wording, I'm sorry. Um, 
or your uh, VRM, sorry. So your VRM blocks, you're gonna have to cut this down and put it there. Uh, this one goes somewhere. So a strip of this has to go across these ones here. This one goes across the big blocks. The, uh, I'm sorry, my terminology is having an issue right now. Those should be your chips, right? I don't know. Uh, regardless, let's start with these little guys. These don't even look big enough for these big squares. Alright, so best way to do this is to set it on there. You're gonna use something and make it like an indentation. Oh, perfect. Alright, so it's kind of like measuring it out a little bit. You can go a little bit short because when you pull this off of the backing, it's actually gonna stretch out just a little bit. All right, so that's that. And this is, again, this is the really thicker piece that's not perforated. Uh, so, try to point these out a little bit as best I can. What's wrong with that? Uh, there's supposed to be a chip here I'm supposed to put it on, but it is non-existent. There's a spot for one right there, but it's not actually there. Well, this one here, this one here, and this one here, and this one. Again, there was supposed to be one right here according to the EK manual, but there's no chip there. So I don't know if that was an early revision and then they took it out. But I guess we're not going to use it. All right, first thing I need to do is get this one done. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick before I start cutting that for the small this means I'll have really a whole lot of this stuff, so... So, for this I'm using my, uh, my big tube of MX4. If you don't like it, don't use it, that's on you. And you just go and make an X. whatever it's on there this is a messy applicator and I have a shaky hand problem so make it a little neater than that and you'll be okay that is the best I can do mm, all right so all right So uh, don't forget not to over tighten or to be honest with you, don't tighten anything until all of the screws are in. Just get them a little, just get them started. I've had it before where I tightened a couple and then by the time I got down to the end, some of the holes weren't lining up. All right, so all the screws are in, and uh, I did miscount on the washers, so there are 23 washers, so take five of those washers away, because there's 18 screws, 18 washers that you need. Um, so I always do where the retention square goes first. So where this thing would normally be, I always do that the last. Those are the last screws I put in, uh, just because I know they're always going to be aligned pretty nice um, because of the rest of the screws, and uh, they're also the first ones that I do all the tightening down on just to make sure that gets a solid uh, placement on the die. You can do that however you like. That's just how I do it. All right, so this is gonna be your block. It is on. Look at this here. Okay, let me go ahead and get this thing put on for completion's sake. What? 
Where am I? Where am I thing? This also was not discussed in the manual either. It's been a terrible, terrible manual, I've gotta say. I'm gonna do these little tiny ones. All right, well, this has been a nice adventure, but this is now finished. So, I still don't like this, but, I mean, I guess they didn't have that much of a choice unless they had made it a full-length terminal thing, but, I don't know, I feel like there were other alternatives. The Vega one did it all on this backside. This is it, the uh, vector block for the... 5700 XT Anniversary Edition slash all the regular editions. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below.